Hi, my name is Tejas, and I don't have a lot of money, but this is Austin. Austin, how much money do you have? At least a million. Oh. Austin is a fellow content creator, but is also extremely good with money. He's been featured in Bloomberg, has his own venture fund, and is quite the business person. Me, on the other hand, ah, I'm trying to get to that level. So today I'm going to challenge Austin to the ultimate business test. Sell me this pen. It's, it's a, a amazing pen. It's a, for professionals. It's a... If you can sell a pen, you can sell anything. Austin and I are going to get 30 minutes to sell as many pens as possible. Whoever sells more is the winner and gets to punish the loser by making them do something embarrassing in front of a stranger. Are you, are you nervous at all? No, not at all. It'll be fun. Me, on the other hand, I'm very nervous. Speaking to strangers is a fear of mine, but there's only one way to get better. When it rains, it pours. What is up to my Oh, God. You have 30 minutes starting now. Okay. Oh, let's just walk this way. All right, all right, all right. This is gonna be hard. This is gonna be hard. <laughs> but not even five seconds in, Austin already had his eyes locked. <laughs> Where are y'all shirts from? Um, Furnish. What is Furnish? There are only two rules for this project. One, you can't tell the customer that this is for a video. And two, every pen has to go for one dollar. You can't make a bundle deal. Austin strategically let them pitch first, but time was of the essence. So he had to pivot to his goal ASAP. So as you are helping people learn about Furnish, I also am trying to help people learn about the importance of pens. So pens are great tools, a lot of cool things happen with pens, you sign contracts and I just want people to realize like pens are very important tools in our lives and this pen is a bargain. I will sell you guys this pen, somewhere in the suit, I'll sell you guys this pen for a dollar. And right as he said the price, their faces went blank. Austin is going cold. So, and I have a lot of so your pens floating around in my bag. Yeah, Dude, oh no. Really good. Like you almost sold me on the Okay, well how about this, can I try one more time? Whoa, whoa, whoa. He wants to try again? That's relentless. You, you want to try? One more time. Okay, okay, you go. okay. Here we go. Last time. <laughs> okay. And so he gave another pitch, and this happened. Okay, honestly, I want you to get whatever you need out of this. I will Venmo you at all. You will? <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> After being able to sell to the very first people he approached, Austin was feeling it. His confidence was through the roof, and somehow had this way with his words to make anyone want to buy this pen. I will sell this pen to you for $1. Sure. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you, Aziz. Hey, can I bother you all? That easily? Really? Only a dollar. It's just a dollar. Come on now. This is getting too easy. This is crazy. Dude, I'm three for three for selling pens. What can I say? You gotta just find the right crowd, bro. You gotta find the right crowd. Hey, can can I borrow you guys? Hey, can, I, can I bother you? Do you mind? This pen is going to be you moving to that new apartment. You buying that new car. No, no, this... I'll buy it, I'll buy it. Oh, really? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> no! Oh, Thank you so God. much. Thank you so much. I'm... Can I really? Okay. Would you mind buying the pen for a dollar? Um, I was, I was gonna... Austin's hot streak had to come to an end with this person, but he went four sales in a row. If you completed this one, he would have had a perfect run, and there was no way I was gonna be able to beat that. But because this last one took him a good bit of time and ended up being a rejection, there was still a chance for me, but I had to play my cards perfectly. 30 minutes, start now. Let's go. Hey there, do you mind if I bother you for just a second? Um, have you ever watched Wolf of Wall Street? In the movie, they say that if I could sell a pen, yeah. I can sell anything. So I'm going around and trying to sell this pen for a bargain price of one dollar. It's a very special pen. How is it special? I don't have a good pitch prepared right now, but um, yeah, I know I'm very nervous right now. Um, are you interested in buying a pen for a dollar? You're not. Okay, sounds good. What was I doing? We were off to a bad start. Hey there. You mind if I bother you for just a second? But luckily, as time was ticking down, my brain was working on hyperdrive to figure out a pitch. And slowly, I gravitated to an advantage that I had that Austin didn't. Pretending like I'm a struggling NYU student needing to sell pens for a project. I'm just an aspiring salesman trying to do my best. Emotions, pull on some heartstrings. Some may call it devious, but if pens are sold, that's all that matters. And we're two aspiring business people doing a project right now. And so I would love to try and sell you this pen. So, I want you to think about all the pens that you currently have, right? They're very materialistic. But what I'm offering you here right now is a very special pen. This pen is from someone who randomly approached you and said that this pen can give you a lot of memories. 
subscribe. So I'm wondering, for a very low price of one dollar, would you accept this? Or would you want to buy this pen? Uh, you know, help an aspiring business person. Uh, oh, I appreciate it. Let's go. My first sale. Now, I wasn't getting a hot streak like Austin did. I mean, he sold four pens in a row. Yeah. For me, it was a pen sold. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'll do it. <laughs> then a rejection, and time was ticking. Are you all interested? I think we are. We believe in you. In addition to pretending that I'm a student and pulling at the customer's emotions, I did a blitz strategy. You mind if I bother you for just a second? Go up to as many people as possible and give them a shorter pitch. And it all came down to literally the last person. This is the pen for you. It's calling your name. Tell you what, I'm gonna look in my pocket. Okay. And if I have a dollar, yes. I'll buy that fucking pen for you. I, please. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there's 37 cents. 37 cents, okay, okay. Keep working. Oh, no. In the big pocket. Come on. Gotta be something. Dude, I think you're gonna do it. Let's go! Let's go! Austin's punishment was to do a push up contest with the stranger. As I bathed in my winnings of $5 of sold pets.